As we've been telling you, William Snyder has served as the Martin County Sheriff for more than a decade, but his career in law enforcement actually spans decades. Taylor Hernandez joining us now in the studio with a closer look at his years of service. Taylor? Well, not only does his career in law enforcement start more than 50 years ago, he also spent several years as a Florida state representative. Whether it was politics or police work, much of his focus remained the same. From a young age, Sheriff Snyder wanted to do just this. So help me God. And he's had the top job at the sheriff's office for a decade now. But come November, his name won't be on the ballot. I knew that this sheriff's office would be better served by a younger generation of leaders. I knew it. Much of the sheriff's efforts have been focused on the border crisis and how it's impacting Martin County. He just returned from a trip to the border in the past two weeks, but his emphasis on the border crisis started when he was serving as a state representative on the Judiciary Committee. There are so many facets of, of this dilemma. That was then Representative Snyder speaking to one of our reporters in 2011 about immigration legislation he proposed. Much of his current term was also punctuated with several large fentanyl busts like this one back in December. We're used to five pills, six pills, seven pills. 10,000? That's unheard of. Which was the county's largest to date. As for his final few months as sheriff, he wants to focus on enacting change for inmate mental health. So I'm trying with all my might to move the county commission, the state legislature, the supporters here in Martin County in the direction of getting us a, a, a separate mental health facility at the Martin County Correctional Facility. I, I think that's so important. Now, Sheriff Snyder, he is the second Treasure Coast Sheriff who either stepped down or will not seek re-election in this upcoming election. You may remember Sheriff Ken Mascara stepped down on the first day of December. Governor DeSantis appointing Keith Pearson. Reporting in studio tonight, Taylor Hernandez, WPBF 25 News.